What is good, everyone? This is your host, Deanna Kempel of Label Free Podcast, to live your best life, you must live label free. So I am very honored and very excited to welcome Jess Henderson. He is a two-time Hall of Famer, and he is the founder of J&D Construction and Remodeling. Sorry, I did have to look at that to not, so I didn't screw it up. But just mm -hmm. actually him and I, we connected through Facebook, which I love social media. I love connecting with new people. And we just had an org organic conversation. And so now I'm going to let him introduce himself and give us a, a little bit about your background. Jess, please tell the audience a little bit about yourself. And yeah, let us hear, let's hear about you. All right. Hello, everyone. My name is Jess Henderson, born and raised in Elgin, Illinois. Um, attended Elgin High School. I was a basketball standout. Um, went on to play college ball. Got inducted to um, two Hall of Fames. Thank God, you know, I'm able to uh, use this platform to touch lives yes. um, with the young people. Um, I was inducted into the Elgin Sports Hall of Fame and Illinois Basketball Coaches Association Hall of Fame. Great mm -hmm. honor. Um, also, you know, I grew up I grew up not having much, but what that did for me today is inspire my brain to maintain, you know, and uh, to inspire my kids and other kids that you can be great. You just have to stay prayed up and believe in yourself. Um, Amen. Amen to that. Yes. Yes. That's always a very good message. And I think that's what made me want to get you on here because of those inspiring words it's so important i think the reason why i do what i do with the podcast is to share stories like that i mean especially right now with everything going on in the world it is so important to maintain so positivity and share those positive stories and and, and thoughts and you know actions i mean that that that's why i have you on here today so tell yes. us a little bit more about the, the mentoring and like um, helping younger people because I know that you're very passionate about that and you, that's something that you do as well, correct? Yes, yes. Well, the, the mentoring thing, I've been dealing with kids for 20, maybe 20 plus odd years now. Um, it's really a passion from, uh, of mine. You know, once my mom always said, you know, the day God bless you with kids, you raise those kids. And I always said, you know, we as parents can raise ours, but you can't you can't be afraid to guide other children. That's not yours. So I have great passion in that because I feel that by investing in know-how, because know-how consists of knowing how to value oneself. Yes. The more we do that as adults, the more sufficient our kids become. Because this, these, this, these generations are lost in the sauce. Yeah. <laughs> lack of, lack of love at home. Lack of round tables at home lack of spirituality and i feel that god put what god instilled in me to give back you know um i'm just going to use that tool to touch these kids which says they need us Amen. you know we must let these kids sit around this round table and mesmerize us with what we taught them yeah it's uh, i have so many stories from uh many of kids um that shared with me about how they grow up and how you know what's going on in their household some have parents some don't have them. and you know again i feel that the only way we can bring this generation back is if we continue to um uh, encourage inspire and uplift them because all the kids that i mentor and train I always tell them you are the ceo of your own university and that's encouraging and inspiring up at the university and those kids really love that. They respect me a lot because they know that I give every bit of me. I give them all. I give them all of me because we have these kids are not getting the proper teachings in the classroom. Yeah. They're not getting the proper love at home. Yeah. So all we can do is continue to encourage them and let them know that we care. And that's all these kids want to know is that we care for them. Absolutely. And you will see a change. You would definitely see a change. So, you know. Um, so what the, age ranges are you, the, are you mentoring? So what is your. Are I'm mentoring and training. I'm mentoring and training as far as basketball. Second grade all the way up to grownups. Adult, oh, wow. Okay. Adults. But I mentor all kids, you know, uh, and I do a lot of community work as well. You know, I try to get in these communities and. Uh, with this police brutality going on and this pandemic, 
these kids can really use these resources and this good wisdom yeah. to grow, you know, encourage them to read the word, you know, um, uh, read books, talk to your parents, um, listen to adults that really care that is doing something to make a difference and you can make a difference. You know, I always, another thing, a, a good point is to encourage these kids to inspire their peers. Sure. They yeah. might, they might have a little, that's, that, that, that's a great thing to instill in these kids because they might have a little more than other kids that don't have what they have. Sure. And you know, you encourage these kids to get along. You know, um, we're going to be having a um, a friend of mine. We're going to be having a community event. We're trying to target August fifteenth in Elgin, Illinois, to well, bring that. Yeah, please piece. make sure you share that with me so that I can post it on my on my pages as well. Definitely. Is that going to be on a website anywhere that we can link? Yeah, that yeah, I'll be. Yeah, I'll be. You're breaking up a little bit. Ah. I'm, I'm sorry. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. And, and what this is going to do, this is to bring ethnicities together good. and let them understand. This is, this is for the kids. Free food, good music. And I'm going to be getting on the mic and I'm going to be explaining to these adults how we must do better. Yeah. You know, stop, stop the, the bigotry and the, all this racism and understand that all these ethnic, ethnicities and these in this youth, they're going to be coming to your house one day. Yeah. White, Hispanic, Asian, and you embrace them as long as they're respectful. Absolutely. You know, you embrace them. Yeah. And we are all we God's children. We are all yes. God's children. So, I mean, yes. and, and I feel like what you're saying, I mean, with, with what you're doing, you're being very authentic. And I think that a lot of these children are responding to you because you're authentic yes. and you are giving them good advice. You are sharing the good word with them. And I Amen. think that when you're dealing with the two, like second grade to adult, that, you know, if they are a little misguided and lost, that that authenticity comes, comes across and they are able to absorb what you're telling them more. So, yes. I mean, you, know, you know what I mean? Because we're, there, there's so much negative negativity out there and, you know, there, this, the social media is pounding bad things into people and for you to be authentic and spreading that good word and that love, I think that is more impactful. Amen. And you know, Miss Deanna, you, you touched me. I told you when oh, I, when I, I reached know. out to you, you touched me and people, people got to open their horizon to understand that no one, it doesn't have to be m money, a shirt. Oh. Someone can say inspiring words that can intrigue your mind to uplift somebody else's mind. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, when I'm, when you see me in these videos, I, I give these kids everything I got. Yeah. It's not about the money because it's cheap. I do my training sessions cheap because I want to build a connection with these kids. Yes. I can't connect with a basketball. I got to connect with them first. Yes. Tell them to open their horizon, open up your soul, and just let me, let coach just climb on in there. Because one thing about me, excuse me, I keep a great identity to complete, complete my itinerary. I elevate my mind to stay in the time of the great path that I choose. And I am the CEO of my own university, yes. encouraging and uplifting university. And I want to continue to spread this aura to not only kids, but to grownups too, because I want to inspire somebody today. The more Every you inspire, I feel the more people you inspire, the more wealthy you are. There is yes, wealth in that that is invaluable. People, you cannot sell that. You know, that is something that if you are able to do that naturally like that, it, you are wealthy already, my friend. All right. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And with this pandemic, you know, um, my, my, my business is not booming too much, but I tell you what, I'm rich because I'm alive. Amen. And I'm going to be all right. Woo. Yes. Yes. I love that. You know, so, yes. Yes. So. <laughs> It is just a blessing to be able to, again, give back to these kids and these communities and touch these youths, these youth, uh, the youth souls. You know, like you look at Chicago, those poor kids, you know, and all these killings and all this stuff. You know, people, some people tell me there's no hope. Yes, yeah, always hope when you got God, you know, because, uh, you know, anything can happen. When Anything. you lose hope and you lose faith, like that's where I feel like that's where like the downfall starts, that starts happening. And that's a choice. Like you have to choose.
to have faith. You have to choose to have hope. You have to choose to love and you have to choose to be happy. You know, like yes. for me at this point in my life, I have to protect my peace. And yes. peace, peace is you are always having, that's a lifelong journey is to be peaceful and to, you know, be, to be loving and to be kind. And, but you have to choose to, to, to live that kind of life. And mm. For me, like I, and that's another thing, like when you, what you're teaching these children and these adults is that with being inspired and being kind and living a good life and reading the good word and, you know, being close, having a relationship with God, you are teaching them that there, there's peace that comes with that. And there's yes. hope and there's faith. And those things are, those things help mold individuals in such a positive way. Yes. You know, and, and, you know, even on, on a personal note in my lifetime, you know, I, I experienced a lot of pain inside, you know, um, but with prayer and knowing that it's okay for a grown man to cry sometimes that builds identity, you know, that builds character. And, you know, uh, again, you know, I have this aura that I just want to keep continue to spread because I'm not going to live forever, but while I'm down here on this land, I want to continue to, uh, again, encourage and inspire and uplift because. So do you have a program? As So I see on your page, it's hendersonballers.net. Is that where you're offering your coaching for? Um, yeah, yeah. I, that's my aid. That's my, um, my travel basketball. Okay. Yeah. So where are you doing that, the, the coaching and the you, through? Well, right now through the pandemic, we haven't had practices. I just, I got like a set little team and I'll ask them, you know, if you guys want to, um, if you want to play this weekend, they'll just, I'll just sign them up tomorrow. And I tell them, well, we got to meet in Aurora. We play at five, four o'clock. Okay. You know, and, uh, you know, uh, with, with my program, I don't have sponsors. I do it all out of my pocket. Sure. You know, um, so I actually, you know what, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but there's somebody that does something similar like this with um, baseball. I might, I think I'm going to try to connect you guys after, like, after we're done recording and just do yes. introduction because he does a lot of community work too. He is um, a former professional baseball player. So the two of you might have some synergy, synergy together and could do some great things. So I I'm just putting it out there. I mean, because he's yes. with inner city youth and trying to coach them and but on the baseball side, so maybe you guys could do something together. Yeah, definitely. You know, I'm all about connecting because you can't connect, connect with everybody. But through, sure. The, sure. through the powers of God, he'll send people in your life, you know, business-wise as well. Yeah. You know, um, yeah, great. I'm a real patient person. You know, um, a lot of people was always about the bag. Well, that bag can have a hole in it. You know, um, you like want to be... Analogy. Yeah, you want to be... <laughs> You want to be mindful that with prayer, I'm not saying I'm this holy person perfect, but I know who God is. I know he's real. So yeah. with, with, with the power of God, he put people in your life. And, you know, those dollars can come. But Absolutely. as I, you know, always tell God, I don't want you to bless me with money. Bless my mental yes. to make money, but also help people as I come up. You know what I mean? I, yes. I feel like the more you give, and if you just put your hands, your, your life in God's hands and have faith, the more that comes back to you. That's just, that's really how I've been living my life the last couple of years. And, you know, uh -huh. it hasn't always been easy, but yes, the more, the more faithful I become, the more blessed my life becomes. I mean, I mean, I'll, and I'm going to cry a little bit, but throughout okay. this whole, this whole pan, but it's a good, they're good. They're tears of joy. Yes, throughout this whole yeah. um, pa pandemic, whatever. I have just decided to be faithful and uh -huh. to live my most authentic self and just, I've chose to be happy. And yes. as I have done that, more and more things have opened up for me. And it's just been, it's actually been pretty miraculous to be honest. <laughs> and and yeah. I'm, I'm grateful. And I've, I'm, I've, ha I've had a permanent smile on my face the last couple of weeks and it's just been it's just been, no, well, probably more than that, probably the last month and a half, just been, you know, very just happy, grateful, and thankful. You know what I mean? So yes, yes. I, I agree with that mentality. Yeah, that, well, you know, like I said, you know, you, you have awesome aura. You know, I feel like I've been knowing you 10 years. Oh. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> again, you know, we can, 
we can wake up with a cramp in our leg. We can wake up with a headache. But I tell you what, if you alive, you got to keep it moving. You know, um, Amen. Amen. You know, we, we, we are a lot of times as we all go, we all have a story, you yeah. know, but I tell you what, there's people out there like Miss Deanna that can touch not only my life, but many people's lives. And that's the type of aura I want to be around. I don't want to be around no, I don't want to be around black, uh, 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 dark, dark, dark area, dark, dark minded no, people, not. people that are not open in their horizons, you know, uh, open your mind, you know, be subject to learn, you know, there's never enough learning. You know, we always can learn something from someone else, but you, it's levels to that. You have to embrace like one thing with my children, I have seven children. I have three that's older ones, and I have 18, 13, five, and two. You so got your them, hands full. You doing a lot of this? <laughs> and you know what? A lot of people always say that, but see, it's just blessings from God. Yes. Nothing's full. It's just what it does. It entices my mind to stay in the triumph, the great path that I choose. Yes. So, see, I my kids will never raise me. So I always tell them, I embrace you holding pops accountable for his wrong actions yeah. that's why i stay on top of my game yeah. so when it comes to my kids i don't play no games i don't take <laughs> days off i'm 24 7 good I, i'm with my children eight days a week and it's only seven days in the week you know because that's the only way i can spread the aura to the young people yeah understand yeah. what i'm saying sure. so again i just try to keep a smile because again i invested in know-how yeah. Know how is free, and know how consists of knowing how to value oneself. Yeah. And I think a lot of, a lot of adults are struggling with that because they don't have a lot of good people like yourself and me and others that value who we are to tell them that you are somebody. Yeah, and you can continue to love yourself at all times. I love that. I love that. That's a great message. So we're getting mm -hmm. close to like starting to wrap this up, Josh. Yes. Um, what else would you like to? Well, I'm gonna put all your links. So I'm gonna put your links for your for your business. Do you want me to add your put your Facebook? Yeah, yeah, you could do that. And Facebook, then I got and the, then the, the Henderson Ballers. You're traveling. Um, yeah. Go ahead. No, no, no. So I just wanted to sort of like re reiterate all of you the different ways that people can support you when they watch this episode. If they want want to like follow up with you and see if they offer any help in any way, where can so Facebook. Henderson Ballers and your business, correct? Yes, and then I have a um um I have a website for my training. It's called www.hendersonballers.net. Okay, so yeah, I will you know in case that. anyone wants to in case anyone wants to you know um get involved with some basketball training because what I do I mentor and train. Right. I don't just I don't just train basketball. I get to minister to these young men and women first then basketball i love it i love it yes yes you have, you've given a lot of great wisdom and insight today on on my podcast and i just want to thank you so much for being a guest it has been it has been absolutely wonderful uh so we'll have to have you back again um, yes I want, I want to hear more about the august 15th um event if you do get that going please share that with me so i can share with my network and yes. any way that I can support you. And I'm going to connect you with somebody after we're done with this. Um, but thanks again, Jess. And I'm going to. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, every, everybody, for tuning in. This is Deanna Kempel, your host of Label Free Podcast, to live your best life. You must live label free. Jess shared a lot of great insight and wisdom with us today. And I, I hope that it inspired you and you took something away from it. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And until next time, I will be talking to you soon.